Mr. President. Senator from Florida is recognized. Thank my colleague from Arizona. Quickly, Mr. President, I'm here to speak about this omnibus spending bill that we're going to vote on here today. Mr. President, it's more proof that Washington is out of control in its spending and that the leadership uh, on the other side of the aisle is wanting to spend our children's money. This is a $445 billion bill. I know my colleague from Arizona will talk about the 5,000 earmarks in this bill costing $3.9 billion, and it's a 12 percent spending increase over last year. $46.7 billion more than the bloated budget that we passed in 2009. $46.7 billion, a 33 percent increase in state foreign operations, 24 percent increase in transportation and HUD. These are unsustainable. We have a $12 trillion debt, a debt that our children and our grandchildren are going to have to pay. And here we are again with a 12 percent increase and a bill that's full of earmarks. Earmarks for $700,000 for a shrimp fishing project in Maryland. $30,000 for the Woodstock Film Festival Youth Initiative. I'm sure these are great programs, but when we have $12 trillion in debt, it's actually $12 trillion, $100 million. It's grown in the last couple weeks. If we can't afford that debt, how can we afford these programs? Mr. President, 2009 has been a record-setting year for debt. We had a $1.4 trillion budget deficit. Now in 2010, even though we're new in the year, we are already running a $296 billion budget deficit. In October and November, we took in $268 billion in tax revenues. That's a hard number to find around here because most people don't look at the money that we take in in Washington. They can just spend whatever they want to. But we took in $268 billion, but we spent $565 billion. This is not how families make their decisions around their kitchen tables where they have to make ends meet. This isn't even how the states do it, where they have balanced budget amendments. The spending in Washington is out of control, and the members of this body should not vote for this omnibus spending bill. And I yield back the balance of my time for my colleague from Arizona. Uh, Mr.